Brigitte, is it safe and is it politically correct for me to say Islam is the problem? It is not politically correct, but it is the truth, and I believe we need to take political correctness and throw it in the garbage where it belongs and start okay. calling the spade a spade, because unless we identify the problem and the disease that's spinning death throughout the world right now, we're not going to be able to treat the problem nor the disease. And the Pentagon conducted a study about a year and a half ago within the Pentagon to figure out where this Islamic radicalism is coming out of, and their conclusion was the Quran, the Holy Book of the Quran right, right. because all this violence that is spreading around the world that the radicals are using they are using verses out of the Quran literally that says kill the infidels cut off their heads and smite them on their fingers and toes because they disobeyed Allah but see we're told that that's not the Quran that that does that's not what that means that just means that we're just going to wage this war within ourselves to be better people than what we are uh, this actually falls under the law of taqiyya in Islam, and that is the law of lying or kithman. Uh, is, Muslims are, uh, are instructed to lie in order to advance the cause of Islam. It is actually part of the tenets of Islam. Uh, this is how Islam was spread before, and right now when we hear the talking heads on television talking about the peaceful religion of Islam, especially from Islamic groups such as CARE, the Council right. on American right. Islamic Relations, right. what they are using is they are using law by trying to convince the uninformed Western public who doesn't even know the Bible, have never read the Bible, let alone right. the Quran, and right. trying to tell them that Islam is a religion of peace. However, when you see all the killing that's happening in the world, when you see the beheading with the flag behind them that says, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah, there is no God except for Allah and Muhammad is his prophet, they are doing it in the name of religion. And right now, even the moderates who try to, to, to fight with the radicals, debate the Quran, the radicals come out winning every single time because the law is on their side. Why? I read in your book and it says that they're a radical Islam. If they're really reading the Quran, they're all supposed to kill the infidel. Practicing Muslims who follow the Quran are supposed to kill the infidels right. and spread Islam. That is their commandment. Right. However, in Western societies, we have been so brainwashed and manipulated and intimidated into saying radical Islam and moderate Islam. And I believe we need to get rid of these titles and start talking about Islam because Islam is the problem right now. I agree. Because the, the so-called moderates have been defined by the radicals because of their lack of action, because of their lack of standing up and fighting the radicals, right. and condemning what is being done in the name of their religion. Uh, you know, there are 1.2 billion Muslims right. in the world today. Right. Not all of them are radicals. But in the intelligence community, we estimate the radicals are between 15 to 25 percent. That translates... Do the math. Do the math. <laughs> 180 to 300 right. million Muhammad Atas who are willing to right. strap bombs on their bodies and blow us all up to smithereen. We that had, is a problem. We had a guy on the program that also said, oh, maybe only 10 percent are really radical that really want to kill everyone. And so you start doing the math 1.2 billion and you that's do right. even t these are for sure that want right. to kill us that's right what what are we supposed to do and the moderates are irrelevant uh, absolutely irrelevant right. at this point and and you know i think the moderates are so much exaggerated and 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 overvalued if they're out of 1.2 billion Muslims, you're going to convince me there is not even one millionaire who's willing to finance right. a movement to stand right. up against the right. radicals? Right. Where are they? How come we're not hearing them? How come we're only hearing Muslim millionaires financing radical organizations, financing radical Islamic lobby groups, and not even one of them has come out and financed a movement to stop the radicals? Why aren't we hearing from Actions them? speak louder than words. And we need to start opening our eyes in the West and call the spade of spade and right. mobilizing our people and standing up and gearing up for a war because we will have to face a war. It's either we can be prepared or we're going to have to fight this war unprepared and I say better prepared than scared. But we're such a Western society we think everybody's good and that if we talk to them and just tell them how good we are that they'll understand and they'll love us. 
Well, we're understanding that this does not work, and I think even those who were in the center started to open our eyes, especially after the doctor plot in Britain uh, a oh. few months ago, oh, yeah. when eight doctors were willing to strap bombs or, or drive a car right. bomb and were ready to blow the hospital, which where they practiced. Uh, that saving was to show lives. you where saving they lives, saving supposedly. Lives, right where they are willing to, to, to yeah. uh, blow themselves up. You know, the leftists used to say, well, it's only because of poverty. It's only those poor. If we just educate them right. and give them money, right. Right. they're going to be right. fine. Right. They can no longer say that because when no. you have doctors who are obviously financially secure, well-educated, who live in the West, who practice in the West, are willing to kill us, then we have to change our tactics and the way we deal with these people. Well, it, it is, on some, in some ways, it's really disheartening. And in other ways, it is a wake-up call for us to say, this is what we can do. Now, you've started a lobby. You've got a, a website. We can, you know, we'll put that website name, you know, and un Thank in the you. program. And everyone can get a hold of you, and we will. Thank you. I encourage everyone watching us to go to AmericanCongressForTruth.org and sign up to join us to get our emails and action alerts. We're mobilizing the nations, city by city, state by state. We're setting up chapters. We already founded a lobby organization. If the Islamic groups and the leftist groups have lobbies in Washington, D.C., we, the American people, need to have right. our voice heard right. because there are millions of us who are fed up with political correctness, fed up with the way our government is handling this quote unquote war on terror, right, which is a right, bogus name. Right, right. If our president, five and a half years after September 11th, cannot call it by what it is a war on Islamo fascism that's that right. has been declared that's on right. us, that's right. we're going to lose this war. And this is why it is up for us, the American public, to mobilize, to strengthen, to network, to empower each other, and to fight this war to protect our country. My late husband used to say, not all Muslims are terrorists, but all terrorists are Muslims. Correct. And that sort of put it into context for me. You look around the world at all the conflicts going on, it's not somebody else. It's really Muslims. As you and I are speaking right now on this program, there are wars going on in 44 countries around the world. I mean, 44 that. countries. Every single one of them is between Muslims and non-Muslims, regardless of what right. those non-Muslims religion is. It is a war between Muslims and non-Muslims, and we need to start opening our eyes. Islam is spreading like wildfire throughout the world on all continents. Islam is the largest growing religion in China. We China. need to wake up, and we need to start doing whatever we can to fight it. Well, God bless you. Get her book, Because They Hate. It's Brigitte Gabrielle. God bless you. Thank you Thank for you. being with us. We'll be back after this. Bad Moon Rising continues.